What's up, guys? This is Renault Police Man. Uh, I came by to talk about shortly about the 900th episode Monday Night Raw. Uh, I gotta say, the Monday, the 900th episode Monday Night Raw, I know it's been two weeks past I did the review. I forgot to do the review. I don't know why, but Monday Night Raw review, I'm gonna be short about it. It's gonna be, it's been epic, you know. Bret Hart and Undertaker never face each other. It turned out to a, a series of spans where I talked about, I did a little recap about that where Undertaker, where Kane schemed the Undertaker of Way Barrett. Um, uh, doing the wasteland on uh, Undertaker and then Justin Gabriel there in the 450. That's because of the scheme of Kane. But Nexus, you know, took self credit about it the week after, pretty much. So, um, that was a bad booking to have Bret Hart against the Undertaker. You knew that match wasn't really going to happen because Undertaker apparently is going to win. So, I mean, if luckily Bret Hart comes through, but I think that was terrible booking. Um, other matches that happened was, um, Let's see, I forgot, I forgot what other matches that did have. John Morrison and Drew McIntyre against, um, no, Cody Rhodes and, R, no, R-Truth and Morrison against Cody Rhodes and McIntyre. That was a horrible match. I mean, nobody won that match. That was just, um, this is just, and the match ended in disqualification. That was just very, um, very unlikely for that match to happen, but we didn't have no winner. But luckily we had the turmoil, so that came, the match came through a lot. Other matches that happened was, um, to see my thoughts. Other matches that happened was um, John Cena, Team Cena again against um, the Nexus. Jericho and Edge walk out the match. That was very terrible. Why did Jericho and Edge just walk out the match like that? It's like the first two Canadians got eliminated. And they just, that's just very degraded. It's just like the same thing happened at Champions. But I don't think Vince McMahon hates Canadians. I think they, they, they Edge is a mid card wrestler. He he did make a good push as a main eventer. I mean, before he was a mid card wrestler, he was a a great mid card wrestler when they had the European and Intercontinental. When he had his feud with William Regal, that was a a great feud. He was a good mid card wrestler, and it was a good push for him to become a main eventer because he's six four, two hundred forty five pounds. Um, so far, um, we had, uh, Sheamus continue. He never tagged with, uh, Orton or Cena. He tried to beat him on his own. He failed after getting pinned by Heath Slater. And he did knock off almost every member except Gabriel and Heath Slater. They look like a good tag team. Especially faces or heels. They look like a great tag team. And I think they should have competed for Team Tomorrow. I think they would have been a good powerhouse tag team. Slater and Justin Gabriel. I mean, they did have great potential, so pretty much. So, um... Moving on, but, so that's what happened, and then they had Cena, who, Wharton, who RKO'd almost everyone except, um, Wade, no, John Cena, who, um, nailed the attitude adjustment, and he did fell down, Justin Gabriel luckily came through and nailed his 450 splash, that got him the victory. <laughs> RKO'd everyone, and for the 1-2-3, and, um, he eliminated almost everybody except Except Wade Barrett, who nailed his Wasteland finisher to become the last man standing. That match was a little bit epic, but, you know, luckily enough, Wade Barrett stood on his own. So, hopefully, he, um, he maintains his contract uh, if any time the Nexus breaks up. I mean, like, these rumors are getting ridiculous now. They're starting, the rumors are starting to become more effective than I thought they would be because... Apparently, we've been hearing rumors that Nexus may end in October Survivor Series, but hopefully, Jesse Gabriel, Heath Slater gets a contract, but who knows? Only Jesus knows, but for the most part, Nexus is still around, so I'll stick to, you know, and I'll stick to the moment that they're around, so I'm not too worried about that, pretty much. So, um, so apparently, um, the, 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 Night was epic, and um, something else for 900 episode. Molina and E Torres against Lake Cool. Molina never tagged in, but still pulled a victory. That was a little bit of humiliating for him to go one, two, three. And I gotta say, the match wasn't as epic as I thought it would be, but pretty enough that um, pretty enough that Molina accepted the challenge for Night of Champions because you know that match was you know humiliating for Lake Cool, but. Michelle McCool is a great wrestler. She is a high potential wrestler. She's number one in the PWI pro wrestling industry, and uh, apparently, um, Michelle McCool is a good wrestler. I know people are bashing her just because she married the Undertaker, who's a high potential eighteen and zero WrestleMania Undertaker. But uh, 
So hopefully, if she gets all, hopefully I don't think it's all her records. She's she's a great she was a great wrestler before she married the Undertaker. She didn't really burn everyone. She didn't burn Beth Phoenix. She didn't really burn Mickey James. I mean, Maurice J came over her, but I think she um she Michelle McCool pulled the victory on Maurice. I think during the draft. So I mean, Maurice J came over, but I really wanted to see a rematch of Maurice and Michelle McCool, pretty much. And I thought Natalia would pull over her, apparently, but. Uh, Belina, you know, accepted the challenge. We already know what happened at the Lumber Joe, um, pretty much. And, um, so the 900th episode, I didn't really have much to say, but it was okay. The Night of the Champions was, uh, very epic, and I gotta say, I was a little bit impressed about, you know, what happened then, but pretty much. So, um, so it's, uh, the Red Dog Stream. I forgot what other things that happened at the 900th episode. I think it was, um, Santino and Kozla against Usos. I think it was their feud, but epic tag match, but that's much I gotta say. So it's the Red Dog Extreme. Please leave your comments below or subscribe to me. I need some subscribers. I'm up to like only like almost 10 subscribers. Hopefully I can get more and some friend invites. So hopefully you can leave your comments below, please. Red Dog Extreme, man. Peace out.